Uh, this is my March update for the three courses that I'm uh, self-teaching. Uh, and so here I'm going to talk about uh, the end of Proofs 1, which really closes out the uh, what I would call my first semester, if you will. Those three courses, uh, Proofs 1, Number Theory 1, Calculus 1. Uh, by now, because this book is not as big as... Uh, as, lo as long as number theory, the number theory book or the calculus book, I was able to cover the whole book, uh, cover to cover, uh, and do most of the problems. I went through uh, today and uh, checked to see how many problems I hadn't completed, and it's a small number. Uh, it's a small number of problems. Uh, then I'm going to go back and do them, but I'm going to do them within proofs too. <clears throat> uh, and I'm not going to do a final for this material either. I'm going to do the final uh, as part of Proofs 2, the second course. So this is my third notebook that I finished. I finished it on March 11th. And I've already started on Proofs 2. There's going to be a video after this about it. And so yeah, here is all of Hammock, uh, the whole book. Uh, I didn't do a second test as I was originally planning to do. Uh, I just said, you know, let's just go for broke and finish it. Uh, didn't encounter <clears throat> a section like uh, 3.8 with uh, counting where I really I have to redo the material uh, with the uh, whole thing about uh, picking so many different colors of balls out of a, out of a selection. Uh, everything else, pretty much, I, I I think I was able to teach myself to as best I could uh, by myself without without a professional mathematician helping me. Uh, then the last couple of chapters, uh, I think, I forget if the last time that I showed this book, I was uh, on chapter 11. I think I was. I could be wrong. So it's a long time ago. Uh, but yeah, I've completed everything uh, all the way uh, and done most of the problems. So chapter 11 uh, with a summary. Then uh, chapter 11 problems. Uh, then a quiz for chapter 11. I must have shown that. I, maybe I did it. And then chapter 12 notes. I did chapter 12 notes, uh, chapter 13 notes, and chapter 14 notes all in one shot. Um, and then, um, now in the case of limits, I could, I could follow and do the simpler proofs, but I really have to go back. I really have to go back and do more limits proofs, uh, either later, later, or I would hope in proofs too. So proofs too, um, it's gonna be more like, I'm gonna go back, do a bunch of problems for fun that I already know how to do, it's just, I find it relaxing, and then clean up, do a very thorough cleanup of how I did the proofs in my first proofs course. Uh, so yeah, I've, I've caught a lot of problems that I did that I sort of did, but really didn't. I sort of did. I really want to understand it in detail. And then chapter 14 with uh, cardinality. I want to go back and redo it as well. I get, I get what, what the chapter is about. I get the concept. <clears throat> but I think it's going to be a lot better if I uh, review it a second time. And so that's, I mean, for example, in the case of the quiz for chapter 13, I only did one problem. I'm like, all right, I know how to do a simple uh, proof for limits, but I really wanna, I wanna learn it better later. And really, this is what, all that I'm really doing with this self-teaching exercise is the objective is, is to someday, God willing, to take a lot of coursework and really clean it up. Now, do I risk teaching myself something the wrong way? I don't know, maybe, but, uh, but eventually I hope uh, to take a lot of coursework with professional mathematicians, and that will allow me uh, to clean it up, to really get it, get it. But uh, some things I've been able to do. <clears throat> uh, so some problems, whenever I put a little mark there, I'm, I feel confident that I solved it, even if it's an even problem, for instance. So yeah, that's my third notebook, Proofs 1. It doesn't have a test 2, it does not have a final, uh, and I will do that as part of Proofs 2.